Hey guys, how you doing? This is JP Saricolia uh, coming to you once again. And I want to talk about uh, Streets of Rage 4. Um, Streets of Rage is one of those classic uh, Sega Genesis Mega Drive um, games. It's one of those most classic games of the 90s. Uh, if you grew up back in the day, uh, in the early 90s, there was a big battle between uh, the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, and the, the Sega Genesis, or the Mega Drive, as it was well, uh, known uh, outside of the U.S., outside of North America. Uh, it was definitely a classic, and it is still a classic of those of that era. Uh, one of the most uh, amazing games of the time, at least for, for that console. There was a, 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 a rivalry between those two companies, and I remember growing up, uh, what, you, you, were, you have to choose a console. You have to be, uh, whether you were a Nintendo fan or you were a Sega fan, there was no uh, in-between. So a lot of people, they just choose one over the other. And uh, I, the, the, in that time, I remember uh, the, the, the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, SNES was more uh, popular, was more common. But uh, everybody kind of, all the people that I know, my friends, they, they have an admiration primarily for the Genesis, which was harder to get. And of course, it was a bit more expensive uh, with the games. But one of those classic games definitely was Streets of Rage. And of course, we had between 1991 and 1994, we have three of the uh, of these games of the series. Uh, you know, the, And those three were phenomenal. Particularly, I would say a lot of people have fun memories of uh, the second one. Uh, but the first one was great. And the third one I did like, but a lot of people were not as fans of it. And that was the last one that was released. And after that, of course, they, they came a lot of, uh, you know, ports, many different consoles and versions. But ultimately, those games were, are classics. And they have a 10 to uh, Sega, of course, closed shop. And they dedicated themselves uh, no longer into the console business, more into the uh, creating games. Uh, they have tried uh, with other developers to create uh, one of them, uh, one other, uh, you know, installment for the series, but nothing really pan out. And we had a couple of, uh, you know, uh, you know, versions that were created by fans, primarily for the fans, uh, and those were cool. But definitely now knowing that there's another one on the horizon is really, really cool. And I like what the Tim was doing. The Tim was a company that is actually producing this is the one that is actually behind it uh, and and the team is a french company and they're doing a lot of classic uh uh classic games they're bringing them back so it's it's really cool i really like what the team is doing the team was uh, really well known primarily in the gaming and the and the mobile gaming industry they do a lot of ports for games for the the mobile you know for mobile for the you know for the different um, cell phones and, and definitely they have been done, they have done that for quite a while but now they're really approaching a more bigger market into the console market uh, and they're doing it good so they are uh, working on this they already developed with lizard cube with the wonder boy series the wonder boy uh, 3 the dragon strap which was really a good well a good a well received game and a good game uh, of that classic game and uh, Gar Crush games, uh, uh, they have produced Streets of Fury. So I'm really looking forward to to see more of that. I don't know if you're a fan. Um, I don't know if you are a Nintendo fan, a fan or a Sega fan. Uh, you, you you know I don't know if you're excited for this. I personally am. I have played these games for years, and I'm definitely looking forward to to see more of the game. We only saw the trailer. We haven't seen gameplay, so we don't know how it's going to be. So hopefully it's good. It, it, so far it seems good. It's, of course, a different style. I, there was a lot of comments I saw online. People saying that they would prefer to have a more 16-bit uh, game, you know, with the classic, uh, you know, the design. But I, to me, I'm excited to see something newer. I, I love the classic design of games, but I like the, the, the newer approach with, you know, um, maybe more pixelated perhaps, but at least, you know, it looks nicer and it looks better on HD. So I'm really looking forward to it. As long as the mechanics are kept the same, I've always been a fan of beat-em-ups. And I think this is one of them that I'm really looking forward to it. So I don't know if you saw the news. I don't know if you're excited about it. I don't know if you like beat-em-ups in any case, or you like classic games. In any case, uh, um, just share your point of view. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Uh, I would like to hear your thoughts. Are you a Sega fan? Are you a Nintendo fan? Are you excited or you're not? Uh, are you looking for something totally different? In any case, um, uh, I'm really looking forward to whatever comes next year. So once again, thank you for watching this video. Uh, you know, Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please follow me on the different social media platforms, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, my friends. See you later. Bye-bye.